everybody. Once again, it's been a long time since the last time I filmed. Um, same reason as last time, I'm actually, this time I started a new job. Um, so now I have two jobs. <laughs> Woo! Over a teamer. Um, but not really. Um, I am getting into crunch time with school and having two jobs. It's kind of hard. I'm sure some of you understand. So, yeah. Thank you for your patience. But today I have a thrift haul. Yay! How exciting. And fun fact, today is my birthday. I turned 21 today and me and my best friend are going to Olive Garden tonight for dinner. And I'm totally ready for it. Olive Garden's freaking delicious. Um, totally ready. Fun story, actually. Oh, God. I need to tell you all this because it, uh, it's just funny. Um, when we... Me and her turned 18, we went to Olive Garden for our birthday, and we told them that it was our 21st birthday, and they believed us, so they brought us Andy's mints in a wine glass with a candle melted to the top, sang us happy birthday, and gave us wine. <laughs> we were 18. Um, so basically now, I get to do everything that me and her were doing our entire adolescence, legally. <laughs> But we really were good kids. We really were. Um, let's go ahead and get into this so that way I can, you know, be done with it. <laughs> um, this is from actually a few different trips. This isn't all from the last time that I went, because I went today. Um, and uh, fun fact, I have never seen more um, like BDG and um, like... Urban Outfitters and American Apparel in Goodwill before. Like, this is ridiculous. Don't know what happened, but, like, that's all I've been finding lately. Um, but none of it's been my size, so... What ifs? Um, the first thing I found was this Abercrombie, like, super, super ancient Abercrombie shirt, um, kind of cover-up thing. And it looks like this. And it is a large 100% cotton, um, yeah, it's kind of sheer, it's really pretty. I haven't worn it yet, but I really liked the, um, has like little leaves, maybe, leaves on it, <laughs> but you can see the front, it's kind of, um, Asian-esque with the little buttons in the front like that and then the back has a little cinch <clears throat> it needs to be ironed and I don't know if y'all can tell but it's actually a super duper light pink and it has like a mauvey pink for the little leaves <laughs> next thing I got is this shirt which I'm absolutely in love with it is horribly tacky but I don't even care I'm gonna wear it anyway I might eventually cut the sleeves off and make it into a tank top but this pattern was too good to pass up it has floral kind of western, aztec -y inspired as well. I don't know, I really liked it. It's 100% silk. It's one of those like, like I don't know if y'all know this, but if y'all go into a Goodwill or a thrift store, 50% of the shirts in there are gonna be silk shirts that are box cut like this, short sleeves, slit in the back with a button. Not even gonna lie, check it out, y'all will notice that. <laughs> um, next thing I found was a Gap shirt. Um, let's look at this. It has the buttons on the side. I may or may not have already shown this. I don't know if I did. My apologies. And then it has the button on that side. V-neck. And I got this for when I don't feel like putting effort into making up like a really cool outfit. And I'm just like, oh hey, let me just throw this on with some leggings and a scarf. And I have one scarf. It's right there in my closet, but it's, there's no hope, it's too far away. And I don't know, <laughs> I love that I can point this camera wherever I want to make you guys think that my room is actually clean, when it's really not. It is a disaster everywhere, but right here. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But the next thing I found is this 
top. I'm guessing it's from TJ Maxx. Black Rain with two ends. It's a medium. <clears throat> it looks better on than it looks off. Um, looks like this. It has a little button thing right here. Which is kind of like an open sleeve hole. And it's just kind of nice and flowy. I'd wear this with probably like black leggings and black biker boots during fall. Or maybe with like a black bodycon skirt or something like that. But it has a little um, button and a hole in the front. And it's got little birdies all over it. And I'm totally one of those people who are obsessed with anything with little birds on it. I love owls. I love little birds. Sparrows. Anything like that. Probably eventually going to get a sparrow tattoo. It's okay. I mean, you know, put a bird on it. <laughs> if you catch that reference. Um, yeah, that's just how it is. Everything we do, we do it big. What? No? <laughs> uh, okay. Next thing is this sheer top. I love sheer tops. Y'all know that. Um, this one has flowers on it. I really like it. Um, I know exactly how I'm going to wear this. Some sort of gray top or maybe a black top with um, my black bodycon skirt. If I wear it in winter or fall, I'll probably put some tights on and my biker boots and um yeah or maybe i'll just wear this over my black um american pearlesque dress that i got from target it's like a bodycon dress and it has a scoop neck on front and back and then it has little like mid arm sleeves and then i'll wear this over it with a black belt tights and yada yada make it look cute and the last thing i got which um i was actually really bummed last time i went to goodwill because they had um a pair of uh, BDG jeans from Urban Outfitters, I think it's Who's Else Knows. Um, and we don't have an Urban Outfitters around here or an American Apparel anywhere close by unless you want to drive an hour plus. So, I have to order things online if I want to get it. So, um, big bummer. But, I found a pair of BDG denim cigarette jeans. They're acid... I don't know what I'm talking about. They're BDG cigarette pants and black high-waisted skinny leg but they were a four and I usually wear zero to a four um kind of waivers but recently I've been getting into twos and zeros a lot more um they just fit more comfortably I guess and I like that they're tighter I have really tiny calves and fours kind of like completely swallow my calves like they don't get like well that I can't talk it's been a long day um they don't hug my calves the way I want them to and I, if I'm gonna be wearing skinny jeans I want them to be skinny and I want them to be tight and I want them to be hugging my leg all the way down so that way I can put some boots on and they'll go in I don't have to like fight with the bottom of my leg uh, bottom of my pants to get into my boots why did I talk about that for so long I don't know let's just move on point is I found those jeans, they were too big, and I was mad, very mad, frustrated, a little pissed, angry, whatever. And then I found these today. And these are blank NYC. It looked like it said blank and dot YC, so I was kind of confused. But um, I found these, and these are 28s. I don't know what size that would be, but um, they're a little big. But they um, look like this. And... They're really, really long, which I'm 5'8", um, so you can imagine how short a normal pair of regular twos would be on me. Um, yeah, so I have to buy longs. And these have zips, actually, and not just like your regular zip that goes like right there. These go all the way down, so it goes down like to here. Which, I mean, I'm never going to use that, but it's still cool because I like little details like that. Um, oh, and the last thing I got, because it is my birthday. Um, my mom went out of town today and got me some underwear from Victoria's Secret. Which I get for like every special occasion, holidays and stuff, so I needed some more anyway. But, um... I think that is everything I got. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching.
probably wasn't in focus this whole time, but I'm by myself and I can't focus the camera by myself. I literally have to like sit here, put my hand next to my face, and then reach up, keep my hand there, and then press autofocus, and that's how I focus my camera. <laughs> um, yeah, so if y'all know any cool tricks on how to focus it. And then one time I used a broom and knocked my camera over on the tripod that it's on right now. I was like trying to like keep my face in the middle of the box to focus, hit the little button, and knocked over my camera. <laughs> But yeah, that's it. Um, happy birthday to me? Yeah? Uh huh? Okay. It's getting weird now, so let me go ahead and say goodbye. But uh, Oh, no, let me show you what I'm wearing. Um, this sweater is a Gap sweater that's like a teal, a dark teal color. And then I have on my black American Apparel-ish um, jeggings black biker boots, the usual bracelets, and oh look, tattoos, oh exciting, um, and my hair is in a ponytail, and my little undercuts sticking out, look how long my ponytail is guys, how cool, um, yeah that's it, thank you guys for watching, okay bye!